The other piece of Gen AI that we're introducing is a new feature that creators can add to their apps so that their app users can use AI. I have Shirley and Anne from the AppSheet product team with us today. They're going to talk about some of the features that they're really excited about and that got released today. So, Shirley, what are some things that uh, you'd like to highlight about the most recent releases? Yeah, um, so there are two main things I would really like to highlight, integration connectors and Google Forms. So let's start with integration connectors first. We've heard from customers that they have a lot of data on third-party systems that they would love to build applications off of and add automation as well. So whether it be in Jira, ServiceNow, SAP, we are now building in capabilities with the integration platform so that admins can add those as team shared tables to their apps and then creators can then build apps off of those. Oh man, that's amazing. So I've heard from customers all the time. You can pull data from the sheet, you can pull data from a SQL database. Well, let's just get data from SAP. And then I have to frown and say, that's actually a little bit challenging. So you're saying there's a new specialized data connector for all these kind of third party uh, integrations. Where does this uh, live? How do they maybe uh, get access to it? When is this going to be available? Yeah, it's going to be super exciting. So you're still going to have to set up those connections inside GCP and uh, make that connection there first. And then once you do that, the admin, the AppSheet admin can then go inside AppSheet and then connect and choose specifically which connections from application integration they want to bring into AppSheet. And we're starting a private preview with a limited set of connections in Q3 later this year. Very cool. Very, very cool. OK, you also mentioned that there is a new release around forms integration. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we know that a lot of users are already using Google Forms. It's super easy to set up and you could do a lot of conditional questions um, and stuff like that. So we want users to be able to stay where they are, to be able to use that Google Form as an entry for their data. But now we want to pair it with AppSheet's automation capabilities. So starting soon, you'll be able to add a Google Form as a table to your app so that you could build views off of it as well as automation. So that will be in public preview very soon. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. No more having to go straight to app script when you have a Google form that you wanna uh, kind of take to the next level, add some advanced uh, automations on the back end. You can connect it to AppSheet and use that no code interface to build those automations. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Okay, Anne, you're in the hot seat now. What are you excited about in this uh, upcoming release? Yeah, so we're talking about all the Gen AIs. So we're incorporating Gemini in AppSheet in a couple of different ways. So we've got two different features. The first one is Gemini in AppSheet for AI-assisted app creation. So this helps new creators create apps quickly. They can just describe a business process um, or an idea, and then we build out the table schema for them, and then all of the views, pages, and actions. Wow, very cool. So Jim and I on the front end of the app sheet creation process, allowing them to take their idea in natural language and say, I have this process. How do I build an app around it? It needs to do this. It needs to do this. And then Jim and I comes to the table and infers, hey, you might need this database table, this database table, and helps solve some of those early areas that might be hard for users to uh, build on their own. Well, exactly. I think the, the key thing about Gemini is that it can understand what the user needs and they don't have to know about like data schemas. They don't have to think about, you know, what, what are the, the fields that I need to track? They can just say like, hey, I need to, you know, manage an event and the attendees for that event. And so they just put that in as a description and then we take care of describing what are the tables and columns that they need. Oh man, that's incredible. So a lot of our training material, especially for introductory app creators is around database relationships. How do we think about a business problem in the terms of database entities? And then how do we relate those uh, together according to database best practices to get the most out of AppSheet? Now you're saying I'm out of a job <laughs> and I just get to teach the advanced stuff. You guys are covering a lot of the basics and getting people that head start with that new feature. Yeah, kind of. I think one of the great things about the Gemini and AppSheet feature is it 
non-technical folks don't often understand about relational databases or how those things work. So what we can do is we can show them what that looks like and then they can learn from that. So no, I wouldn't say that you're out of a job. I would say that it gives you a leg up in some of that yes. training. Awesome, fantastic. So is there anywhere else in the product that Gemini is getting uh, you know, thrown in? Yeah, so for that feature, we released that actually last year as a Google Chat app. And this year we're releasing, starting later this month in April, we will have an in-product version of it. Very so cool. we're excited about that. The other piece of Gen AI that we're introducing is a new feature that creators can add to their apps so that their app users can use AI. So that's going to be data extract with Gemini. And that's going to be able to allow creators to take a photo and then extract information from it and fill wow. out forms. Okay, so I saw a demo of this earlier and it was really incredible. It doesn't just pull out any information, it actually pulls out contextual information to what's in the rest of the form. And that's mind blowing to me. So often users are out there taking pictures of equipment in the field, having to assess what is the, the measure of compliance or lack of compliance, wear or tear on an object. And now you're saying this image processing with Gemini can actually do a first shot at that and fill in the form fields automatically. Yeah, exactly. So we're really excited about that. We think that it's one of the ways that we make AI, Gen AI in particular, really accessible to app users. You know, they don't really understand sometimes like how it works. And so all if they understand like, oh, I can just take a picture, that's it. Like that makes it really easy for them. One final question on Gemini and AppSheet. You guys are working really hard to integrate this powerful technology into AppSheet, but why? What is the ultimate effect that you want to happen for end users? Well, if you think about what AppSheet is, it's a no-code platform. So we're trying to make it easier for non-technical folks to solve their challenges with you know, solutions, support their business processes and whatnot. So we're doing the same thing with Gen AI. We want to make that even more accessible to people because again, it's like, well, you know, do I need to create a model? Like what's this Vertex AI thing? So we want to make it really simple for people to use the technologies that Gen AI can offer. And uh, so, you know, if you can just like click a button and add some AI and you've got all those capabilities, that's what we're really shooting for. Fantastic, making it really powerful technology, very consumable, lowering the technical barrier to entry. I love it. This is, my, this is why I love this product. I appreciate you guys and your leadership of this product and growing it and continuing to, uh, to make it more effective for businesses all around the globe. Shirley, Anne, thank you so much. Sounds great, thanks.